In this video, we're going to show you how to log and submit expenses. We're going to start on the top left side, the Time and Expense menu, down to Expenses. Here is our expense dashboard. Here you can see I have many expenses that have been logged before. When you look on the line item, you can see what has been approved by an admin, what expense reports have been submitted and are awaiting approval, and also the unsubmitted expenses here. We're going to click into Unsubmitted Expenses. And here you see all of the expenses that I've been logging that are ready to be submitted when the report is ready. At first glance, when you see this green square, that means that there is an attached receipt that you can click in and view the receipt. Let's go back to our daily view in our history. To add a new expense, click up here at Add New Expense and on the right side, add expense. You could put in whatever date, your expense type, and this comes from the expense codes in your system, and pick a client. You can select a file to upload if you have a receipt. It has to be a JPEG or a PDF, and you can also mark your expenses non-billable or non-reimbursable, and then click Save. Again, we see the green square. Now at the bottom here we have a banner with a link to submit our expenses. When our report is done, we can click here. So here we see that we have a choice to submit all of our expenses as one report or we can select the ones we want to group together for the two similar clients and we're going to submit the expenses. Here we see the expenses have been submitted and the total. Also there's a message telling us that we have $300 remaining and here we just submitted the rest. Our unsubmitted expenses is down to zero now, and if we go back to our daily view in history, we see the zero here, and the expense report has been split up between the two submissions that we made. After an expense report has been submitted, we can still click back into it to view it. However, here we see that there's a lock on all of the entries, and we have a message telling us that all the expenses have been submitted for approval. After an expense report is submitted, it can no longer be altered by the staff member unless a system admin rejects the expense and then it comes back here and says rejected and waiting for someone to alter it. And that is how you track expenses.